What up, fans? Today is my 100th day in Belize. And normally this would be a cause for celebration, but unfortunately today is one of the worst days I've ever had on the road as a travel vlogger, as a YouTuber. My ultimate nightmare has happened. As you can tell by the PC behind me, my laptop is stuck in an endless loop. The hard drive is fried. I've tried every trick in the book to try to fix my laptop. No hope, no idea how the thing short circuited out. I've reset, I've reformatted, I tried to do everything, and now it's just stuck like this. My Asus ZenBook, which I bought just over a year ago from Micro Center, is now a completely worthless but very expensive paperweight. How did it happen? I have no idea. There's so much moisture and salt uh, in the air from living on the beach that the humidity and the salt just destroys everything. It rusts metal, um, the salt corrodes electronics, cars, computers, things like that do not last long out here living the salt life, you dig? Um, so that said, I've got some bad news, I've got some good news, I've got some more bad news, but then some good news, and then a little bit of bad news, a little bit of bad news, and then a lot of good news. So we're all over the place uh, today. So if you couldn't tell by the quality of this video, the audio quality, I'm having to film this on my old phone. Well, my current phone, it's a Google Pixel 2XL. I've had it for almost two and a half years now. It's been a tried and true, trusty trooper, uh, but nothing compares to the laptop. So here's my dilemma. As you guys know, I'm in San Pedro, Belize. To get anything shipped to and from the country takes an extraordinarily long amount of time. If I want to get anything shipped here from FedEx, it's extraordinarily expensive to get anything shipped here. Um, so I'm kind of stuck in a bind. I need to create, I have over 24 videos ready to edit, ready to roll out to you guys on YouTube uh, that are essentially just sitting on my hard drive. But now for some good news, okay? All my data, all the videos backed up. They're on the cloud, they're on another hard drive, they're on memory cards. So all the footage I've taken and I just haven't edited yet, it's all safe. So that's the good news. The bad news is the chances of me getting this fixed anytime soon, virtually impossible. No one on the island seems to have any understanding of how to fix a laptop like this. Not only that, the thing is under warranty from Micro Center, so even if I could get it fixed here, uh, just by opening uh, the shell casing, I'm essentially voiding my warranty. So the good news is that once I go back to the United States, I can get a brand new laptop, continue editing my videos. Now I want to thank everybody that reached out earlier in the week when I posted about my laptop troubles. You guys were super, super generous and helpful. I had people offer to ship me laptops, uh, find people here that might be able to fix it. Everything from A to Z. Beyond, beyond grateful for the outpouring of support uh, from all y'all who reached out trying to help me on this. Um, now for some bad news. As it stands, this laptop isn't going anywhere. The cost to ship it to and from the United States, it would be like $400 to $500. Absolutely absurd. No telling when I would get it back either. Uh, I'm, I'm debating right now about buying a new laptop um, and just having it shipped here. Um, but as someone who really doesn't have a job and uh, is on a super strict budget, and not only that, I'm supposed to get a new laptop when I turn this thing in, I just don't think it's financially responsible or even possible to buy another laptop right now just to spend all that money just to get one here. So for the time being, I'm gonna do whatever I can, the best I can, uh, to try to keep you guys updated on what's going on and try to create cool stories as best I can with this older cell phone. And I gotta be straight out, when the computer died, um, I'm not gonna say the word depressed, but I was really, really down. Uh, Number one, just the ability to be able to make content for you guys to enjoy. That's what I live for. That's, that's what every day when I wake up, that's what drives me. It's like, what can I create today? What kind of cool stories can I share with my audience? Uh, what kind of new effects can I put in my videos? Um, and for right now, unfortunately, that is all on hold. Um, so faced with the decision what to do, this laptop's not gonna be fixed anytime soon. I'm finally just starting to get momentum on, on YouTube, on this channel. I just 
uh, just crushed the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'm finally monetized, doing my first dollar on YouTube. And then of course, as fate would have it, five days later, poosh, the whole thing fries out. So I thought to myself, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then I saw that there's a flight home, excuse me, there's a flight home to the United States uh, this coming Friday, so in two days. And I thought, maybe this is a sign. Maybe I've accomplished all I needed to accomplish in Belize. Maybe it's time to go back home to the, well, it's almost like a war zone in the United States. Um, get my laptop fixed, go spend time with my dog, go see my dad, self-quarantine, um, and just figure out what the next stage of, of travel, if that even is a thing anymore, um, and, and my life and, and, and what that kind of looks like. And so, sorry again with these angles. I don't even have a selfie stick uh, for this camera. That, that's how I feel. So anyways, I bought the ticket. I bought the ticket to go home. I'm like, it's time. I'm gonna go crazy if I have to spend eight hours a day here not being able to work. You know, I wake up in the morning, I work out, I swim, um, and then I'll try to film a video, and then that's it. I pretty much spend the rest of the day uh, editing stuff, like eight, eight, eight to 10 hours sometimes working on these videos. And now that I can't do that, I'm like, what am I gonna fill my time with? What am I, what am I gonna do with all that time? You can only watch so much Netflix, you can only indulge in so many podcasts. Um, a lot of people have said, you know, keep making the videos on your phone, and it, it's, it's, it hurts me to, to put out a video like this that has really poor editing, there was no script to it, there's no effects, there's no pacing, there's no story. It's essentially just, just some guy lamenting uh, his, his broken laptop while, while, while in paradise. Woe is me, right? Uh, so that's a mix of good news and, and bad news kind of all over the place. Uh, but getting back to the ticket. I bought the ticket to go home, slept on it, slept on it again, decided not to go home. I refuse to let any electronic hiccup, uh, if you will, uh, determine my path in life. Just because my laptop died, I think it's foolish to leave this relatively safe paradise here um, to go back home, to go to, to take a water taxi with dozens of people, to hop on an airport with hundreds of people, to go through an airport with maybe thousands of people onto another airport and onto another plane, uh, to an Airbnb, to an Uber, uh, just, just to get home. Uh, just to get a laptop. And not only that, there's no telling that when I get home, uh, there'll be a new laptop waiting for me. If you guys have tried to buy any electronic device in the past couple of weeks, stuff is sold out everywhere. All the Chinese factories shut down and they're still trying to catch up. All the boats that ship out uh, electronics to the United States, their entire inventory of the cargo, no more electronics. They're just shipping medical uh, supplies now so even to get a GoPro at, at this point is, is virtually impossible. They're all sold out. So to get a laptop I want that I would be comfortable with, who knows how long that's going to take. Tried calling Micro Center, no call. Tried to hop on Micro Center, chat Micro Center, being where I bought the PC, no response. So for the time being, I'm staying here. I'm not ready to leave. I don't, even, I don't feel it's safe for me to leave and go back to the United States at this point. As much as I want to see my dad, as much as I want to see my dog, and as much as I want to keep pumping out these videos, it's just not in my best interest. But now we're, we're at this, this hill of, okay, I, I feel I'm uh, creative. What am I gonna do with these eight to 10 hours a day uh, of free time now that I have? If you guys know me, I, I don't drink. I don't really drink beer, or booze, or anything like that. Uh, there's nothing to really do on the island, which brings me to my next piece of really, really good news, and that's a lot of the restrictions on the island have finally been eased to the point where now the entire community is allowed to go into the ocean, go into the beach, open air bars and restaurants are now open. You can go on the beach right out here, have yourself a cocktail, sit and watch the waves if you want. So life is starting to so life is starting to return to just a little bit normal uh, now on the island of San Pedro. So that's cool. I went out on a boat yesterday. We can boat. We can fish. I started to get involved with some fishing groups this past week. Uh, so there are things to fill my time here. Uh, but when it comes to what's the most rewarding use of my time, 
un unfortunately that's that's making videos which now has kind of been put on pause so all options are on play I'm, I'm debating just buying a new laptop having it shipped here and, and dealing with the consequences kind of kind of splurging on myself uh, but we're just taking it one day at a time so it's gonna be really interesting to see how this video turns out no color grading no effects no sound effects I'm using the program called Rush uh, from Adobe on my cell phone. Never used that before in my life, so it should be quite an experience. Um, but with anything, with anything in life, there's going to be obstacles. And don't get me wrong, I realize that with all the nightmarish, terrible, terrifying, awful things going on in the world that my laptop breaking is a very insignificant micro spec of a problem so I'm not gonna fret it I was feeling really low today actually I wanted to stay in bed I'm, I'm never a guy is in bed but I wanted to stay in bed and I said you know what can't feel sorry for yourself pull yourself out of this funk think about how many people have it worse than you I got up I forced myself to work out I got in the ocean I swam longer and farther than I ever have in my entire Life just to push myself because I have to. I have to get. I have to get over some hump, some crest if I don't have projects to work on. Um, and now I feel good after I close out this video. I'm gonna crank up some of my favorite tunes, uh, sing along to some '90s hits, I think, um, and and just chill out. <sighs> but yeah, it really, really does suck that I can't get all these videos I made out to you guys. And there's also a sense of. I, I don't have the same excitement to record other videos with my still still working for now um, DSLR or whatever mirrorless uh, camera that I film all my YouTube videos on. I, I, for me, the best part is okay. I finished a video. Can't wait to see how it looks. Now it's like okay, I can I can record these videos. Who knows how long it's going to be before I can get back in front of a laptop or a desktop with enough processing power uh, to actually edit these 4K videos. So everything kind of up in the air. I'm not going home. I honestly could see myself going home within the next maybe two to four weeks. Uh, things are finally getting nice back in Minnesota. I hear it's gonna be in the 80s soon. Um, like I talked about before, one of my biggest fears of going home, excuse me, can I edit that out? I don't even know, I haven't even messed with the editing functions yet. If not, you get a burp from me on camera. Um, yeah, going home, you know, at least I can be with my dog and, and hop on my bike and, and I'm not going to suffer some terrible um, cultural uh, and, and, and temperature shock just from going back uh, when it was when it was cold. So, uh, again, I apologize that this video is probably going to suck. It's just me kind of complaining, kind of giving you an update on my life, kind of giving you an update on the island. Um, this is certainly not how I wanted to present the opening of the re island the reopening of the island um, I had a really cool video planned where I was going to show um, What's open and how people are reacting and this weekend the excitement that was on the beaches I mean it was unparalleled energy. I haven't seen this many people in Belize in literally like two months and I thought where are all the where have these people been hiding lockdown was no no joke I mean a good portion of this population were straight up in their homes. They were not coming out. Um, so that's it, kind of a mixed bag uh, of emotions and, and feelings. But hey, if my laptop dying is the worst thing that could happen to me um, on this trip, then psh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, but thanks again for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks to everyone who liked this video, who subscribed to my channel to help get me over that 1,000 subscriber threshold. That was a huge goal. Um, for me and it just really really stings and I'm not able to keep pumping out the kind of content um, That I was but I promise you guys once I get back plugged in um, The videos are only gonna get it the videos are only gonna get better I was trying to learn a lot of new tricks uh, trying to roll out at least one or two unique features with each episode um, Working on a lot more almost documentary style videos as well. I got a hot sauce challenge video coming up I got a documentary on um, Sagarasam, which is like this seaweed that's destroying the Caribbean beaches, um, and then some videos on the homeless situation here too. So when will you see those videos? I, I have no idea. I'm gonna see how I feel about how the videos look on the uh, on this Pixel XL2, and and, and kind of go from there. But that's where I'm at. 
all things considered, life is still pretty good. The sun is still shining, the ocean is still blue. And, uh, and that's that. My name's Brent Tim. This was a Snack Chat Live update, even though there were no snacks. I've eaten quite healthy, actually, not really indulging. Um, but I'm saying ciao for now.